Hi, I'm Lisa Varga. I'm an actress, a host. Uh, I love sports. I love entertainment. And you are listening to PBR Podcast. That was that was very good. It, was, it wasn't bad, right? Sure. No. Do, no. do you want me to do it over? I think no. you should do it again, though. No. Okay. Let's do it this time <laughs> with a little bit more, a little bit more energy. Come do you at it with a little more. Need more information. I'm, I'm uh, no. Don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you should just come at it with like, like a little bit more of, uh, give it a little bit more Varga, a little bit Lisa. I think we're all feeling that. <laughs> more Varga, okay. more Varga, less Lisa. Mm-hmm. More Varga, less, 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 Lisa. less Lisa. Nobody likes Lisa. No, no, no. But no, the Varga, no. everybody's no. about the Varga. You know what I mean? Lisa's. Was that enough to say though, or is it was probably too much? Just look at the camera. And wink, that's it. it. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> that's all we need. Was that our cold open? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You could do it one more time, though, just so I have. Okay. Not was, you, her. Oh, me, you want me to do it? No, no. Hi, I'm Lisa <laughs> Varga. What? Oh, that'd no, be you great. Do it. it doesn't make sense, but I do it. Well, I'm Lisa Varga. You kind of look similar. I am Lisa Varga. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to see You guys could this. be, you're the next twins movie. It, Danny oh, DeVito, do me a favor. right? You, you say, hi, I'm Joe Gatto. <laughs> you say, hi, I'm Joe Gatto. Hi, I'm Joe Gatto. And I'm Lisa Varga, and you're listening to PBR Podcast. <laughs> How's that? That was good. All right. <laughs> that was a good one. This it's going to confuse everyone. Hit it! What's up, everybody? PBR Podcast, Mike Polano, Derek D., Greg Oliver, who's camera shy. He's not on a camera right now. <laughs> no camera. Our featured guest host, Joe Gatto from Impractical Jokers on True TV. Yes, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. I mean, I'm so excited about the 100th episode, but we'll get to that. It's going to be a live punishment. Of course, of right? course, yeah. All right, Uber Black XL. Is that Joe Gatto <laughs> from Impractical Jokers on True TV? On True TV. On True TV. Right? Yeah. 100th yeah. episode coming up. Can't yes. wait. Live. But let's talk about who's next to Joe Gatto, yes. everybody. A two-timer <laughs> on Pizza Beer Revolution, the Lisa Varga. Yes. Yes. Thank you. In Thank the you. flesh. But the first you, time she was on Skype, you said, right? First time the we first ever time, Skype. Yeah, in first time in house. We, it's, it was a long time ago, two years ago, and it was so different. I was at home mm-hmm. on Skype. You were, I don't know where you were, and it was very <laughs> different than what it is now. This is like so classy. Um, but R- really? I, well, classy, like the conversation we just had that you can hear if you go to our Patreon. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? Okay, yeah, scratch that, that. Not everybody's going to hear that conversation. I just wanted to repeat it again for Kelly, <laughs> because I think she just deserves a lot of credit. So, you know, girl power. Right on. <laughs> In case you didn't hear it the first time. Francine. Fra- you mean Francine. 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 <laughs> Francine. <laughs> Um, Lisa, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Right? This is fun. This is really exciting. Great to meet you. Actually, great to meet you. Yeah. You too, Varga. I have never met this guy in person. This right. is so... I me like either. I feel <laughs> like... Uh, but we have like a relationship. Uh, like we've talked. Oh. We've, nah, we've not that kind of I'm relationship, kidding. Yeah. Derek. Well, but we've talked. Like when you walked in, I, I felt like uh, I've known you for the last five years. Yeah. Right? That happens to me sometimes with people. Today. Social right? media. Like you feel like you, you know like the you person. Know people, and then yeah. when you meet them, you, you, you do. It's yeah. really cool. Social yeah. media is amazing. It has, sure. I mean, it's very powerful. But even just meeting you, and now I'm here today because of it. Right. Um, but we kept in contact. and. Don't you, know. you even... What... what? Let's settle something. What city do you live in? <laughs> That's what I was I, asking. Sometimes I don't even know what <laughs> city I live in. I'm literally in city to city. Just bouncing around. Bouncing around. I'm originally from South Bend, Indiana. Okay. Um, but I, you know, LA. A hub of entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. we, we have. They um, have Rudy. We right? have Rudy. Um, we have Manti Teo. Oh, we, that's right. He catfished. We talked about that We before. did talk about that. Okay. okay. Um, Notre Dame. That's huge for us. Yeah. Um, but we shot a film there recently, so we kind of put it on the map. There you go. How so, was the film? Was it fun? Yeah, the film was fun. I actually, uh, it was called Crowning Jewels. And I, I get it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no? No. No, okay. Not those, never, no. Not those kind <laughs> okay, of not that. Okay, no, forget that. The other kind of jewels. Okay. Uh, jewels, it's J-U-L-E-S, and it's about oh. two twin sisters. One's a beauty queen, and uh, the other is a Harvard hopeful. So it's okay. about a beauty pageant, kind of. It's like one of those Disney <laughs> action adventure kind of films. Okay, really cute. that's cool. So I had an acting role in it, but I was also the producer on it. So it was uh, my first time producing Look a feature you, film. Look at you, Varga. Behind the scenes, you like that? What would you like better, in front oh or behind? Oh my gosh, I loved producing because you're yeah. kind of, you're the boss. That's fine. You call the shots, and you know you kind of run the show. And my job was to just solve problems, put out fires, run everything, and it was really exciting. I want to do it again. How again. much did you yell at people? I. 
don't think I ever yelled at anyone. Really? I was like the favorite producer. <laughs> oh, all there you the go. Crew I always let everybody else yell. <laughs> I let everyone else. I don't want to be the bad guy. That's I let great. them be the bad guy, and everyone loved me, so it was fun. <laughs> great. That's great, man. Killing it. Yeah. Do you have a nickname? Uh, the. The. Lisa the, right. Varga. It's, it's in front of her I mean, Twitter you got to call a Varga. I would never call a Lisa. I, that's what I Given the choice, I would never. I And I prefer that. Yeah. I love being I feel like that's a guy thing, though. No, you know girls what? Varga. No, no, yeah. I'll tell you what. I grew up playing sports, so I was always called Varga. So that to me is comfortable. I love it. You can call me Varga if you want to. Um, the Varga girls. These were pinup girls back in the 1940s. So that's another oh, okay. Varga. Oh, girl, any relation? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> to a calendar? I, I was really into the calendar. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What, uh, what sport did you play growing up? I played every sport growing up. Um, probably the one that I played the most was baseball and then got into softball when I was... Baseball? Really? Well, you have brothers, right? How many brothers do you have? I have two brothers, but my whole family, you know, we're a family of athletes. Everybody always played mm. some kind of sport um, and uh, grew up playing baseball, softball, um, ran track, volleyball. I played football. I was the uh, girls' um, quarterback for the Powder Puff team. Nice. nice. Oh, you nice. got a strong arm? I got a really strong arm. All I can right. throw a spiral. Uh, if I, it were 1987, you'd throw the ball right over those I, mountains. I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. But just like Uncle Rico. <laughs> exactly. so, so you grew up in... You grew up, tape. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in South Bend, right? Grew up in South Bend. So yeah. what, is it, what is it like you're the last of three... And the two boys are older. I, and no, they're both one older, one younger. Oh, so you're the middle child. So you got uh, all kinds of issues. I, I am the middle child. I'm I, middle. Well, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't no, pee no, in mystery closet, solved. <laughs> mystery solved, Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess uh you're you're comp- you have to be you have to be like a a, a tomboy, I guess. I don't wanna just oh, assume my, things. But. No, I totally grew up a tomboy. I mean it's, to this day, I still am a tomboy, but because of the work that I do, I do you know film, TV, a lot of hosting, so I kind of have to be a little more proper. So sometimes, if you really get to know me, then you will know a very different side of mm-hmm. me. I'm really mm-hmm. I'm funny, I'm a tomboy, but there's a little facade I have to put on to present myself. I have a lot of um, products that I represent, so it's my job to kind of be professional smoke at all times. Smoke screen it. You got a smoke, smoke screen. When it. is you the funny going to come out? Because this is kind of like a funny podcast, yeah, when, a comedy podcast. When, when is that side going to come out? I'm feeling a little more comfortable with everybody. I'm a little shy at first. Right. So once this I is a comedy me. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Hold on. Let me make a note. <laughs> Be It'll get funny. funny once you find out what's in the box. There you uh, go. I already know what's in the box. You have no clue. What's I know. In it's going to get very Varga in here. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I still think there's a movie somewhere that needs to be hashed out where Joe Gatto uh, from True TV and Practical Jokers uh, on, on True TV hundredth episode coming up, and Lisa Varga are twin sisters. <laughs> yeah, there's I mean, a, I, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could call it. I mean, you could do. You want to do it as a comedy? What do you want to do it as? You want to do it as a sci-fi <laughs> drama? <laughs> we could do a sci-fi drama called the the Varga Incident. We could do a, a well, comedy just varging around. What uh, was we could do. Uh, I mean, whatever you want. What was the Varga Incident? The what Varga, actually happened? Well, you know, did you ever see? Uh, did you ever see the butterfly effect? Yes, I have. Very similar, but with a Lisa Varga instead of a butterfly. <laughs> wow. a Lisa Varga does a cannonball into a pool, but the ripple effect <laughs> of the pool. Little kid gets splashed in your eyeball. It's it's a whole thing. Wow. It's terrible. Yeah. I'm looking eyeball. forward to this. Yeah, you know, just bargain around though is really just bargain around. Right? Right? Yeah, just bargain just around. Bargain, you can produce that one as well and, and continue to just yell at people. I'm yes. do that. Yeah. Yeah. You write it. I got it. And then we're both going to start. I it. already got. I already got most of the plot points just, down. Just bargain around. Just How would you spell bargain? V a r g a n. Vargin. And that's it. And Vargin. another one. Another one of those things. But one of the uh, things that the V A R G I N with the thing. Like an umlaut. Spanish. Is that what that is? What's it called? No, apostrophe. Oh, like oh apostrophe. Like Who's a umlaut? An umlaut. An umlaut. No, an umlaut. Isn't that a two um-lot? dots? No, no umlauts are two dots. <laughs> Umlauts, two dots. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Not that. It's not a German film. That's the, that's the foreign film. <laughs> Dos Vargans. Dos Vargans. <laughs> For all the people that just like got confused listening to this podcast because there was that random voice, Greg Oliver finally spoke. <laughs> I am the random voice of Umlaut. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's like our Wikipedia. <laughs> I'll just, just on that one topic. Though. That's it. You're like God. I know Umlauts well from Motorhead. There's a Umlauts oh, right. a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. That's, that's otherwise. So I he's just know. a random voice with no camera. No camera on him either. That's so why watching. Right. This. Wow. It's very confusing. That's why I can sit like this and rest the mic on my belly. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. I do that too when I'm on camera. You know what's <laughs> funny though is because like if you look at the the pictures of the video, everybody's looking in a different direction when he talks. <laughs> so everybody just like, <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like it looks like we all look like deers on the throughway. Like, <laughs> can you guys all look up next up from now on? Look up every time you talk. <laughs> Say umlaut. Umlaut. 
<laughs> That's so great. Well played. Umlaut's a good oh, word. Awesome. That's a bargain, isn't it? Here. There you go. Oh, you didn't miss much. You I didn't, didn't miss much. Just an umlaut? Umlaut. Umlaut. Oh, it's so funny. Hmm. So did, did you, um, were, were either your parents, what did they do, your parents? Because uh, your, your brother's... You mean at- professional professionals or no? Like on a Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. What was life like at home on a Tuesday? Just on a Tuesday. Life on the farm. Um, was, no, did you grow up on I, a farm? I did not grow up on a farm. Um, I grew up. You know, we had Notre Dame, and that was like our big claim to fame. So <laughs> yeah. we're like a she big just hung out on the campus. Job. That's it. We just were on <laughs> campus all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you went to college? No, no. No, she just lived there. No, I, I just lived on campus. No. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, uh, my mom was a stay at home mom mm-hmm. and just awesome. And my dad was like a hard labor blue collar worker. He worked for a company called AM general. They make the Hummers. Okay. And so that was actually based out of, uh, Indiana. And so, uh, he would, <laughs> he would come home when we would say, dad, tell us a factory joke. My dad was hilarious. Oh. I Again, it didn't, have, the comedy didn't rub off. No, well, it did. It, it really well, not did. yet it hasn't. Not yet it hasn't, because I'm still kind of Did you miss that whole thing we just did, Michael? <laughs> yeah. You should hit rewind. Your, ear, your earphone. My thing fell off. Oh, wow. oh yeah, okay. No, Sorry. but we, my dad was a goofball, and he would bring jokes home. My mom would get really mad at him because he would curse at him sometimes. So I, from a young age, like, we always knew curse words and, you know, making jokes. And my dad, like, he would tuck us in at night and, like, bump his head into the wall and do, like, physical comedy. Oh, and then later in life, like, I grew up watching... Watching the Carol Burnett show. That oh, was so good. So good. my all-time oh. favorite. So I really, I really am funny. I don't. I'm not coming off <laughs> no, as funny, but out. I really am. No, it so. is. <laughs> Do you know what's hysterical though? And I, it's very difficult to point this out because nobody could see it. But Greg Oliver's not on camera, not speaking, but breathing heavily into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on his belly. He's holding it like this up to his mouth. <laughs> uh, so when did you like figure out that you wanted to be? on stage or you wanted to act because it doesn't come from your parents or maybe maybe it does come from your dad telling jokes uh maybe because he was silly um my mom was always really artistic we always did everything like painting and so i don't know i guess i have an artistic side to me but um when i was about five or six years old i remember my mom we were sitting at the table and she said well what do you want to be when you grow up and i said i want to be an actress and she said why do you want to be an actress and i said because i want to help people and change the world and everybody listens to actors. And that's what I ended up doing with my life, which is really cool. Yeah, you know. And, and that's really funny, too. It's right? it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, no, no, that's it's a, going that's an interesting way Sorry. to think about acting, though, because like people are like, like you could put that in front of like doctor or something. But then it's like interesting that at a young age, you realize that an actor has a responsibility socially. Yeah. So for whatever reason, yeah. it came to fruition and. And, I'm really and here you are. And here I am. Well, I mean, Gato, you know a lot about that. Like, your, your celebrity power, you, you do a lot of good things yeah. for different causes. Yeah, anti- actually, uh, and yeah. And we're, uh, there was actually, I was very excited about the 100th episode. They're actually let, letting us do a charity angle. Wait, you're having a 100th episode? Yeah, it's going to be live? It's live, yeah. We're doing it on September 3rd. We're doing a 100th episode of uh, Impractical Jokers. We hit 100 episodes. That's on True TV? That's on awesome. True TV. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we, uh, you, you read the bio. Is there a guest host? Today? Right. <laughs> there is. We're having Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel. Yeah, speaking of funny, he's awesome. So uh, we're actually, they let us pick a charity, and I'm working with Daniel's Music Foundation on that. Oh, nice. What's so, that yeah. charity? Uh, it is a very good charity here in New York. They uh, offer uh, classes to um, mentally and physically disabled uh, people to help them with, you know. And it's also, I love that they're, they're actually like a community. That's my yeah. favorite part about it. They, they they build a really great community up here in New York. And it's music. It's music based, music like through based music. Through music. That's yeah. awesome. And it's really music it's therapy. really impressive how it's grown in the last couple of years. And yeah, uh, that's right. Because you've seen it from yeah. And yeah. we we were at the uh, foundation. Well, I think two years ago. Um, yeah, for the the chair the benefit they do a big benefit once a year. And yeah, you came you came to the first like one of the they first. They just ones opened the school, I think. Yep. Or they were just going to open yep. a new building. They just opened a new building up in Harlem. Yeah. I mean, and that all comes from what Lisa's talking about. You know, it mm-hmm. comes from the celebrity. So yeah. you know, I think as a celebrity or you know mm-hmm. what celebrities, athletes, musicians, you do have somewhat of a responsibility. Mm-hmm. Now, some of them use it to their advantage. Some of them don't. They do really good things with their platform that they have, and then there's others that just destroy it and should have never been. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In that position to the first place. I think some people, it's, it's weird because some people don't, it's funny because like people that do it, they're like, I just play football. You know, that's all I want to do is I just play football. They don't realize that you're an inspiration mm-hmm. just because you play football or just because you do whatever you do, you know, play the guitar. You hear people say that all the time. It's like, I, I don't know why people look up to, all I do is this and that's what kids want to do. Yeah, <laughs> so that's exactly. who they're looking for. Yeah, you got to know you're in the spotlight. Yeah. I mean, come yeah. on, dude. The thing I love though, I, I, I love 
if you're a celebrity and you have a lot of money and you can donate or you can use your, you know, your celebrity power for positive, I, I, I just, I hate when, like, celebrities take, like, the political route and do that. Like, that bothers me. Yeah, that, that's always weird for it, me. And I, you know what's funny is, like, an actor or, you know, someone on TV, some, when the people ask you, because I... I've never voted in my life. I don't know. <laughs> I can't anything. believe you just said that. Uh, you're gonna make me. Edit, you're gonna call I, me up later and say, "Can I, you edit that out?" I, no, I've never voted. Communist. Be I've honest. never voted. I do not know anything about the politics. <laughs> I do not know what the difference is between anything. I don't know or care about any of it because I always said, you know, my grand, uh, my grandfather, uh, my grandfather, not our grandfather, my on my uh, father's side, he always said, you know, no, no election came down to one vote. When they say every, every vote counts, he's like, no election ever came down to one vote. And I always found that very funny. <laughs> you know, and I, not, just, not true, though. I have to tell you something. Yeah. So you and I really are twins. You've never voted I've either? I've never voted Whoa! Either. Whoa! <laughs> Greg? We, yeah. I'm, just bargain around. All, <laughs> just bargain around. I voted. We're you voted, right? For movie. Ross Perot. You, good. Yeah, no, you but is, did you only vote once for Ross Perot? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then once for Obama. <laughs> there? Yeah, I voted. Oh, my, thank God, man. You voted? Communist, no. <laughs> of course I, I vote. You know what? And I was waiting for the right person. I thought, if somebody's not full of... Can you, Guff. Can you curse on You can this? say whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna, if we're gonna think less of you. If you're not full of the S-word... <laughs> um, oh, just say shit, Varga. Everybody, it's, if you're not full of shit, yeah. like, everybody oh. just lies. It's like, I'm not gonna vote for anybody who's gonna turn around and not do what they promise. Yeah. It's like, if there was That's somebody everyone. that I really believed in, I I would consider voting, but I'm like, why? And so, see. Donald Trump? I'll yeah. vote for, I'd vote for Trump in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's He's gonna win. I'm sorry. No. Oh, do you know, no. We talked about this, so I don't wanna be on dead horse, but there's they just brought out the poll... Oh, the D's nuts, right? <laughs> Trump's yeah, on top, D's nuts. and then D's nuts is in third. Yeah, Are you, how does that make you feel as an American? I don't care because I don't uh, vote. It's but not, it's not like a nineteen-year-old kid, like because you who, need to be D's? thirty-five to at least run. Well, D's is a thirty-five then. No, I th okay. oh wait, you have to be. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. One of those you gotta be, be born. You have to be born in Wisconsin, right? I know these facts. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be born in Wisconsin. You True. have to, right? You have to be at least thirty-seven years old. True. And you have to star in at least one movie. One True. movie. Ronald Reagan, be, guys, so. he was a good president. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite scenes in uh, in Back to the Future. <laughs> Who's the president in 1980? Ronald Reagan, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe that fifty percent of the people at this table. I'm not a math major, but. Yeah, haven't voted. You're not at all. <laughs> no, no, it's more like 20, 20, 20%, 40 percent. No, I'm undecided, so I, I didn't tell you whether I did or didn't. Oh, I know you have though, because you have such a hard state. It's not you're not doing very well with like a poker face right now. It's kind of like yeah, you haven't. <laughs> but listen, don't judge. Okay, I'd, maybe I just haven't had time to vote. I'm only 39. I, I listen. <laughs> I can't. I'm believe. trying to be president, so I can't vote for anyone. Right. Realize, yeah. I wait a couple years though. So, Do you realize that Varga, you're a gun-toting American? Like, do you realize I will that vote for guns all day long. No, you won't, because you don't vote. He's got you on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But they may have, like, a side vote or something that no. has nothing to do with no. the election. They don't have side votes, Varga. <laughs> it's like, a yeah, maybe, maybe it's like this isn't a real wait, vote, wait. but show of hands, <laughs> who thinks? <laughs> guns are good or bad. Maybe so, that uh, will give me a reason to vote. I will leave you guys with this, and I believe that you'll vote after this comment. Okay. Oh. Every American that has died before you to, to keep America what it is in war, get, fought for your right, died for your right to vote. So by you not voting, you're disrespecting those dead Americans. You know, I may not, not be joke, funny in this serious. podcast, but you're really not funny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I brought it way I brought it way but down. You're, Greg, you're, say that word. We need a factory joke. Say that say <laughs> the word. Umlaut. <laughs> Umlaut. There you go. Got it. <laughs> yeah. It's like squirrel. I hate a yeah. squirrel. <laughs> we never got a factory joke, No, you're though. absolutely yeah, right. Can you give, give us well, a, factory, maybe. a factory yeah, joke? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Do you know any? Well, no, let you're me, on the let spot. Me, yeah, if let you, me think about if it. If you come back, we'll put, we'll put it in this. The magic of editing, we'll put it in right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did anyone, when you would, depart, when you would uh, like go to North, North Dakota, when you would go to Notre Dame, would it be like, She was oh. never in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, was I mean, we don't like, know. She may have been. Uh, maybe. North Dakota. You ever been in North Dakota? I have not been to okay, North Dakota. Okay, you were right, Gato. <laughs> I want to go to North Dakota. Just be like, yo, what do you do here? <laughs> like, <let's> get, <laughs> what goes on? I want to land and go, what happens? I went to South Dakota once and I was like, what is going on That's in the state? I'll I go there know. too. I don't know what happens. Corn. <laughs> South Dakota. Yeah. I'm there. I'm like, 
All right. <laughs> I heard it. Check that one off the list. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to I hear. I hear the north is much more happening. Yeah, that's where all the, that's where all the hangs out. That's where the Rushmore is. Yeah. I think I was with you in South Dakota. You were with we me. We were together. Yeah, we both were yes. like, what are you guys doing? That's right. <laughs> I have no idea. I couldn't wait to yeah. Greg Oliver in North in South Dakota blows my mind. I, like, I was with him. Yeah, yeah, but I can get he. I could see him there. Yeah, I had, you, to, I had to follow him. You with your hipster. <laughs> the only reason I was there. Your man. tight hipster jeans. I, I brought my oh, tight was it the pants. tour on the bus. The tour on the bus yeah, tour. Yeah. Ah, to Vegas. To Vegas. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Is that going to happen again? Yes. Uh, with a doc or just going to do it again? No, we're doing a live bus tour November. We're doing our bus tour November fourth to the twenty fourth. We start in uh, upstate New York and we end in someplace. Need a roadie? You can find out find out that information <laughs> on practicaljokers.com. I don't know. I have no idea. I just get on the bus, Wait get minute. off, and tell jokes where I'm told Wait a to. minute. You're, you're you want to come? You should come. Yeah. I, you're on True TVs you and Practical come. Jokers? You have to stop this. Then you told me I had to stop this. Pause. You got to stop. They're going to listen, gonna listen. listen, and they're going to be like, you fucking clearly told them that so I can get a car ride home. You have to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're so transparent. Uh, <laughs> Market. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, True TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. I, like I love it. you. Uh, oh, here we go. Here oh, here party harder with Varga. Here we I go. I don't even if you know. What is the that? Yeah, so what we didn't that? do it with you last time, did we? <laughs> what? <is that? laughs> I don't know what you're talking. We didn't about. do it through Skype last time. Clarify. No, we did not. Right. Uh, so this is a game. This music indicates a game we like to play called Top or Bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes, we did. Play we did that. do Top or Bottom. So yes. we even. All right. So yeah. the show's not all that different from Episode Five. No, don't ask the same questions though. <laughs> I, I <laughs> hope I won't. Uh, Dennis wrote these anyway. Where is he? Dennis. Uh, What's can you? Varga, do me a favor, because yes. I find this really interesting. I'm going to just bring this back for one second. Okay. Can you just yell for our intern, Dennis? Dennis! Oh, I like what that. do you think? What do you think? I kind of enjoyed Not it. Not bad? That wasn't bad. Okay. <laughs> Is that good? I like to make people yell for him every now and then. <laughs> uh, so top or bottom, I'm going to give you two topics. You're going to tell me which one is on top, which one is on the bottom? It's about you, Varga. It's kind of tailored around you, and we're going to round table it. Top means that that's my top it, it's, choice. It's, hey, it's all up to you. Okay. Right? <laughs> it's all up I'm to you. Scared. And uh, when I say two things, don't just say top. Okay. Or bottom. I want you to elaborate. Okay. Here we go. Top or bottom, <laughs> number one. City life or country living? Oh, city life. Top, of course. I'm a big city girl. I, really? I, I will always remember my roots where I came from, but I love big cities. Interesting. I would have thought the other. Really? No, I picked that. You did? Yeah, I picked that. I would say city for her. For Me, her, I'm country living all day, all night. Yeah. That's because I'm also the country. We're twins. Twins. So he knows. And, you know, I mean, we're I connected. Know. Same thing. <laughs> Greg? <laughs> Just barking what? around. Barking around. <laughs> Greg Oliver. <laughs> City uh, life or country living? Country living, because that's where I moved to. Bed styles like the country. Yeah. <laughs> you're, ri demand. you're originally from the country. Houston is not the country. Well, you're actually from Houston. Yeah, the city. The city of. So no, he's a city guy. City guy. I love the city, but I, I'd prefer to be in the country making city dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well said. That's what I'd like to be doing. Nice. The Derek T. City life got me bugging in strife. Some die by the gun, some die by the knife. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. I should have muted you when I had the chance. Uh, it's a Gangstar lyric. Come on. What's a Gangstar? Oh, Come gangstar. on. You're quoting Gangstar and you're yelling at him. I don't know what who is wrong in this situation. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, you look like an Abercrombie and Fitch commercial. <laughs> my my hip hop game is up. Uh, I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to front. It is. You're, you're, you're actually, you got good you ain't you got game. You, got you ain't half stepping. No, no. No half stepping. Here comes uh, a hot step up. <laughs> <laughs> City life on top. Country uh, living. But hey, I like the country. I think. Because you don't know country songs. I go snowboarding. <laughs> Snowboarding's the mountains. What am I saying? I uh, think country living is on top. I like the city, but I love about? leaving, man. I want to go to country. But you don't want to live there. That's what I'm saying. I went camping this summer. He went camping this summer. He's in Twice. Mount Bethel. He's all about Mount Bethel. Oh, I am. Guy. He's buying land. Was that the first time you went camping? He's buying the whole Well, mountain. like as an adult. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, I don't know if you call it. It's more like I went glamping. Like there was a bathhouse and a pool. No, we can't have a, we can't have a pool. Oh, there was a nice pool. We had that's, a not pool. that's not country living. That's not country living. No. You're in the woods like five minutes it's outside of the camping. city. It's yeah, not camping. You can't no, set I up said, a tent next to no, a... No, I slept in a tent. To a, like a bathroom that has air conditioning? Yeah. You can't set up a tent next to that and call that camping. And I had wet wipes. It was, it was like, you know, <laughs> it was brilliant. Nice. Coffee every morning. 
On the fire? When, the a, fire. Bear, when a bear fire. shits in the woods, you think it has wet wipes? You're not in country <laughs> living. That's stupid Look commercial. at my face. Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm country. All right. <laughs> that means... <laughs> Top and bottom, number two. I'm a beard of country. NFL or NHL? Oh, God. That's a... Uh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. That's difficult for that's 50% really... of this table. Not for me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Not for me. Not for me. Man... Can you come back to me? Really? That's what you're. <laughs> that's what you're gonna it's do. That difficult. Bring out the funny Varga. Don't put Lisa away. Put her back in the pocket. We want Varga to play top or bottom. Okay, NHL. You gotta I've slept choose. with more guys in the NHL. Whoa! Oh, there the truth go. comes out. <laughs> there you go. Bring the bat. That's hat Varga. trick. Hat oh, trick. No, wait, wait, wait. Can we just end the episode right now? Like, where do you go I from there? May have to take that back because I'm gonna go off on a rant later about being bullied and. I only say that jokingly. I haven't slept with a lot of guys in the NHL. <laughs> uh, but people no say backs. that I have. Gotcha. And I right. like point the right. fingers point at joke. me all the time because I do a lot of uh, interviews and features with and I've, you know, interviewed quite a few different athletes that have been in the NHL and everyone assumes that I sleep with them. Yeah. Which is not true. It's what so, happens with hotties like us. I, everybody thinks I've slept with everyone. Because you know so, yeah. we're just bargaining that's around. That's we're bargaining around. <laughs> that's no, that's that, that's the uh, the other adult the adult films. You probably have gotten <laughs> you probably have gotten hit on though a gazillion times. All the time. Oh, Never. you're talking to her. No, nope. <laughs> and you. <laughs> I was looking down. I didn't. I assumed you were talking to me. Obviously. Gotcha. But like probably quite often. No, nobody hits on me. I'm. I guess I just. NHL um, players and well, but don't hit on you guys. Never. I'm the pretty twin. No, <laughs> no athletes have ever hit on me. Come ever. on, that's never. a lie. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, We're just walking around. Uh, next, next. <laughs> Gatto, you, you go next. Should I re-answer that just in case? No, we have to no, there's no, that was great. There's, <laughs> don't you call me later, too. You guys are twins. I'll get six text messages. All right. Can you edit this? Can you edit that? <laughs> if you Do you want me just to shoot from the hip and not have to worry about editing it until after it happens? Yeah. Or do you want me to think about what I'm going to say every time? No, shoot this is the answer you'd get. I can say this. Why, Greg didn't say the word. Say the word. That one's really going to get me in trouble, though. I'm going to get hammered for that one. Uh, and it's not true. Not it's theoretic. Not, not, true. not literally. No. Hammer. I mean, if people, you know what? If people <laughs> think that's true, they, they should really assess themselves. They, that's not on you. Be, okay. If people aren't smart enough right. to realize that was a joke, I you're all I will stay with my answer. Keep it. The NHL. Yeah. Uh, mine, be the, well, mine would be the opposite, the NFL, because I had had the most sex with NFL players. <laughs> so we're fine. We even each other out. <laughs> Greg... Uh, Next? The NHL, because they paid my rent. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. For a little while. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Derek T. Uh, NFL on top. NHL on the bottom. Because I've slept with most of the NFL cheerleaders. <laughs> oh. 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 Nice. oh. You went there. Ladies, man. What a nice. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. I think one. <laughs> <laughs> Mascots don't count. I was like, oh, there, there's the Varga. We <laughs> like the Varga. We're just fogging around. <laughs> uh, ain't nobody fogging around. Man of NSA. Man of NSA. Ain't nobody fogging around. Ain't nobody fogging around. Ain't nobody fogging Let's just move on. Number three. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, this one's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> In terms of roles, top or bottom, fun and flirty or serious and dramatic? <sighs> okay. Initially, I would have said serious and dramatic. But until I met Joe and thinking about just bargaining around, <laughs> definitely got to be fun yes, and flirty yeah. on top. Yes, there you go. Go get him. Uh, I, am, I am known, actually... For my serious and dramatic roles. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dramatic look away. <laughs> so I would have to say that. I didn't see it. Do it. Th do it this way. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that doesn't even look dramatic. It looks like I'm lost. I'm like, what? It, so, even... it looks like he just said. <laughs> yeah, it looks like say it. Umlaut. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I just have to do this because I think that once the show comes out, there's, there's going to be a uh, this week on a very special. <laughs> Varga and around. Just Varga and around. Just, just Varga. Var sorry, just Varga. Right, do it again, do it again. We'll this it. week on a very special Just Varga and around. Lisa, I need to talk to you for a minute. What is it, Joe? I found your lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't mine. Uh oh. No <laughs> matter. <laughs> Oh, 
not even top that yes. one. Yes. <laughs> You're done. That's it. It's a oh, great top or bottom. <laughs> it is. Uh, so, so Gatto, uh, fun and flirty or serious and dramatic? Is that serious? Just, <laughs> oh, you did. My bad. <laughs> Greg Oliver. It was so good. I lost my track. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Fun, fun and flirty? Fun and flirty. Dark dick. Uh... Yeah, I like, uh, I guess fun and flirty on top, serious dramatic on the bottom, but I like those roles that you can be like funny and there's some serious parts. Dramedy. Dramedy, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, they have yeah like, uh, like, uh, like like Vince Vaughn in The Breakup. Like, that's a funny movie, but they got some yeah, heated some arguments. Really heat. Yeah, that was good. It's good stuff. Uh, Vince Vaughn, a true detective, good or bad? Really quick, Joe Gatto? Uh, I love Vince Vaughn. I love Vince Vaughn too. Didn't even want to watch the series. Four episodes in, and I'm like, what is this craziness? But it's great. I'm right. a big Vince Vaughn. <clears throat> Just curious. I've never seen True Detective. <laughs> I either. My God, we are, we're just fun, bargaining man. around. Yeah, we're just bargaining around. <laughs> I just followed his lead. I, love it. I just want to part in this pilot. Yeah. <laughs> you got you're, it, you're the little brother. Yeah. You know what? We're joking now, but I, I'm going to produce this. I, I'll raise the funds. We will. <laughs> That's it. Mark my word. Even if it's just we, like a fun internet short. Yeah, the YouTube bit. Yeah. Yeah. Can just you have like? Around. Can you just have like the uh, the creepy uncle played by Greg <laughs> Oliver yeah, just what's breathes the in the corner? That, uh, people, let me tell you about my best friend. There you to be a TV show. People let me tell you about Oh, Robin Big. Robin Big? Robin Big. Is that what it was? What, what, with the, the Waynes Brothers? No. No, she's thinking It was like back schooler. in the 70s. Oh. People Bosom Buddies? Kind of like that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know that song. We'll, we'll, we'll look it up. Yeah, we'll brainstorm yeah, ideas anyway. later. <laughs> <laughs> Who said Robin Big? <laughs> Well, that was the song. Oh, People what? let me tell you about yeah. my best. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. The, but they redid it. But they it. repurposed what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Top bottom number four. Oh, Abolicious no. or fluffy and cuddly? Abolicious. I don't do anything <laughs> fluffy and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's no. There's none of that in the NHL. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at you, Oliver. Yeah, why you're not, you you're not even me? on camera. I'm not on camera. There's no reason to even look at me unless I go, umlaut. <laughs> We're not even looking at you. <laughs> Joe Gatto. He's as um, I, I have to say fluffy and cuddly because, you know, when we're varging around, she gets all the abolitionist <laughs> ones and somebody's got to be with the fluffy and cuddly. That's true. You know? That's true. Um, I would never, I could never be abolitionist, so I have to go with fluffy and cuddly. <laughs> I, you, have you, I don't think you've have ever. Have I ever had an ab? No. no. Never. Well, an ab, yes. And, <laughs> and that picture really brings out your ab. Yeah, I have one ab. I have an ab. <laughs> kind of got the same shirt going on, ish. Ish. Umlaut. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Umlaut, fluffy. Fluffy. Fl fluffy. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. I remember some girl in in uh, middle school. Somebody called her fat. She's like, I ain't fat. I'm fluffy. No, oh, that's funny. It's <laughs> a good word. Fluffy. It is a good word. Yeah, man. I wouldn't mind being described as fluffy. Abolitious is a pretty good right word too. Though. No, it is. <laughs> Anything delicious. <laughs> Anything with delicious on the end. Duh. Delicious. What? Um, there's not a lot of aliciouses. Delicious. Can no, you answer? I'm sorry. Can you answer this as as uh, as Philip? Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I answer this as Phil? I feel like Philip would really like this question. Uh, well, I'm obviously not fluffy and cuddly. <laughs> I'm not an aborigine. Uh, I'm uh, abolitious. <laughs> No, it's not what you are. It's what's on top and what's on bottom, Philip. Oh, exactly. Uh, usually I'm never on top or bottom. I'm usually alone in my room. <laughs> uh, having a, 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 a I'm a middle. <laughs> abolitious enjoyment with myself. Uh, I'm on the top and the bottom of, uh, of it. Of it all. <laughs> this week on a very special Vargan Around, Philip asks out Lisa. <laughs> well, Lisa, uh, I, was, I, I saw you over there. You look real pretty. And uh, I was wondering if you go like to uh, maybe go calculator shopping with me. We could possibly go to Staples. Uh, we could look at some inks. I got this great printer at home. It's an Artisan 730-5. It is glorious. We could watch. We could print things out of pictures of me and you on the beach. Um, I <laughs> think the bus you got on. <laughs> so in other words, that's a yes in my book. <laughs> she talked back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Gross. Uh, and the last one, top or bottom, acting or hosting? Oh. Ooh. You have some tough questions today. Ooh. Hey, that's that's the name we of the We call game. these thinkers. <laughs> We're not going to make it easy for you. You came in all the way from South Bend. I know. Um, this is a tough one. They're so different. They're like night and day. Um, depends what the project is. Oh, oh, that's a good way to play it. If it's safe. You know, mm. host. I, I would have to pick hosting because I really just love interviewing people and finding things out about people. However, 
I think I'm going to have to go with acting because, again, that's, just walking around. around. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just walking around doesn't need a host. It needs, it needs a co-star. A, that's right. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Joe? Uh, have, you, have you done any? You've done some hosting, at least of events. Yeah, I've done live hosting. I, don't I haven't necessarily done hosting for tape. Uh, I think I'd be probably, I probably would do, I'm not an actor, so I would say host. Hosting. Yeah, I like to host. But I like to are. make, I'm the host with the most. But you are an actor. Yeah. Yeah. I don't a really good one, I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, do you, do you uh, consider what you do on Impractical Jokers a character at all? Uh, uh, no, because it's so close to my real personality, but super, I can see why people think it's a character. Super inflated. I think that it's definitely it's definitely turned up sometimes. I definitely sure. put it on a little more. But I also do that when the cameras aren't rolling. You know, that, you've been one hundred percent. You know, when people when How people many? start laughing, it just makes me <laughs> go into the stratosphere. Fun, Bobby. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I would say I would still say I'm going to host. <laughs> okay. Mr. Oliver. Hosting. I, I mean, we need to put a picture of you up right now <laughs> on social media. Derek, please do that. <laughs> I love how it's resting awkwardly. Your stomach. It doesn't even look comfortable what I'm looking at. <laughs> perfect, dude. It's perfect. <laughs> it's not even wide enough to get around them. It looks like a, a, a bad baby Bjorn. <laughs> it is. It looks like a painful it baby is. Bjorn. Maybe that's why I'm so used to it, because it's a baby. <laughs> it's how do you, good to have something here. How do you even get... A perfect ball of a stomach it like really that without is. being I just pregnant. I looked at it for the first time. He's also <laughs> pushing it out. I'm, I'm not pushing it out, man. No, that's that's just natural. I'm chilling. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm vlogging around. I'm slouching just... with a pot belly. I think I'm vlogging around that the Uncle Greg should be pregnant and nobody knows that's why. why. That's great. <laughs> right? And we, <laughs> we never, never explain never, it. He just, never addressed oh. it. He's just holding his back. <laughs> 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 he goes and throws up in between he's things. Just, and he's always <laughs> pregnant for the whole series. Totally fine with this role. <laughs> and because of that, I'd say acting. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank nice. you. Well hey, Nazi. Uncle what? Uncle Umlaut? Un <laughs> Derek D. Oh, man, this is a real tough this one. This is tough for you. This for is close me. to home for you. Yeah, because, I mean, hosting, that's where I, that's where I make most of my money. Fastlane Daily. The but studios I, we're in right now. We should now. probably shout that out, yeah, right? Yeah, we're at Fastlane Daily. Fastlane Doodly. Fastlane Doodly. <laughs> Fastlane Doodly. Well, I like. Dude, I guess there's different kinds of hosting because I mean I've done the, like the interview thing. I've done the host live events, but like when I'm hosting like a show, there, I'm also doing characters and doing different things too. So there there is an acting element mm -hmm. within that, especially when I'm like like when I write a bit in the show. It's it, I don't I don't know. Um, That's an unfair question. I think hosting and acting. I really love acting so though. Like I I I've, I I. I, I I think I'm gonna go acting on top, but but I, I also feel like these are supposed to be hard questions. But I feel like Are that's they? really part of hosting for me personally. So he's also making it much harder than it has to be, though. He well, he's also just to pick one. The music's <laughs> over at this point. It is because he, so he just kept talking in circles, and we just had started out sidebars. <laughs> I'm not really sure if he ever answered know. it. Did he answer? That's, I missed it. I think he was getting. To, I think he was saying <laughs> acting. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, he so we'll wait till he gets back. Do you know if he's okay? Do you still talk? What? Yeah, is he okay? I'm like involved. Yeah, he's acting. <laughs> <laughs> Can we pick for him? Yeah. No. Acting, acting, right? Oh, yeah. okay. Acting. 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 All right, thanks. Because I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's when you just said to me. I don't know. I have to say hosting, clearly. Uh, I, I don't know. I never really had a, a role with that I had to memorize lines, but Greg could be the witness. That <laughs> you anytime. cannot. It's impossible for you to memorize a line, <laughs> a word. Right. If the I, most horrible memorizer of lines Then definitely ever. Yeah. pick hosting. Because so yeah, mad sure. at this dude. Sometimes really? Was, it was uh, that bad? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> it's hard sometimes for me. It, honestly, sometimes when you're just reading the lines, sometimes it's hard to... Sometimes you record yourself saying them and listen back. You can memorize them easier. That's actually a, a good te uh, technique. I think I'll uh, I'll use that on my episode when I guess those Vargan around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, There's no not a host. <laughs> Pay attention. Guest star. This is a guest star. star. TV show. This week. That was a 60%. TV show or movie? No, this is, a, this is a TV show. It's this a is a series. series. It's a series. series. Yeah. yeah, this is an right. episode. This is something that we could literally it's a Netflix shoot original, one right to, yeah, tonight and it'd be like Yahoo would pick that up in it's a heartbeat. It's a Netflix Perfect. original. The Uncle spinoff? Show? Think well, about we've it. got the whole cast right, <laughs> right here. Let's slow down. I mean, Let's slow down. down. I'll slow like, down. This right. is but I, I, I see the possibilities. <laughs> but I think it should just be you never address the camera and all you do is be pregnant and walk That's around. That's it. Walk That's around. It. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, and his name is Uncle Umla. <laughs> but you, and you Umla. rest random things on his stomach. Like, I'm just, just like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. He's like an end table. <laughs> yeah. He could be an end table or he could be an uncle. We don't know. 
but That's after so like the second or third season, and he's still pregnant, like at some point, does he have what's ever in no, there? You say no. that for the season, f- the Only, series finale. Yeah, yes. when you need to jump to shark. That's, that's when you find that. Yeah. Out the baby you know, ratings start to slip a little bit. Or yep. it could be like 24, and it's like within a 24-hour period because oh. he can't possibly have the baby in 24 hours. Well, well then he, you, maybe he, he looks could. like he's about ready to have it in 24 hours. Well, then we're limiting ourselves. If it's a half-hour episodic, then we're limiting ourselves to 48 episodes. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I want this thing to run 100 episodes like in Practical Jokers. Hey. Oh, boom. Yeah, maybe we'll have a, also have a live... 100th yeah. episode. If I live after September 3rd. <laughs> so you, this is your 100th episode? September 3rd, yes, our 100th wow. episode. Yeah. I have to be honest because, you know, we're twins. Yep. Um, Never seen it. <laughs> until recently. There you go. <laughs> so I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm traveling a lot. And I had dinner with my friends a couple nights ago. And I had mentioned, you know, we were doing this podcast and you were going to be there. And they said, oh, my God, we have we if we don't get home on time, it's recorded. We love that show. You've got to check it out. So I went home that night, YouTubed it. Okay. And I watched, there was something like the 10 funniest. This, there's this thing you do with mashed potatoes. Yes, yeah, oh, that is, yeah. Yeah. I love, that, was, that made me laugh out loud. Oh, cool. That was really funny. Good, thank so you. So now I, I will watch. All right, good, we got another fan. <laughs> Boom. Boom. My That's nephew. One by one. <laughs> Season six. <laughs> one by one. My Season nephew six. walks around, he's like, scoopski patatas. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah, scoopski yeah. patatas. Yeah. Scoopski yep. patatas. Did you just come up with that? Yeah, yeah. On set. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Acting. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite curse word? Scoop, scoop, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That question's not in here. What's your favorite curse word? Yeah. Oh, I have. No, I didn't uh, ask it. Okay, good, because I don't want to say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Varga, do you remember your first gig? Was it an acting gig or a hosting gig? I, or it was, modeling? It, well, it was modeling. So I that's s- where it started? Yeah, I started yeah, when I was too. about 16. Um, so modeling kind of went into acting. So modeling, commercials, acting. Um, but hand, my, hand model? Uh, I, I have done hand <laughs> modeling before. So yes, that was one of them. Um, but I, the first acting gig that I had was on the movie Rudy. Because that was shot you, in South Bend. Yeah, yeah. And I was an extra, which everyone needs to do if you know they want to get into acting. You got to be an extra. And I just, when I was on set, I fell in love with it. And I said, oh, I already knew what I wanted to do, but that just kind of sealed the deal for it. It was so exciting, and I just love the whole, you know, start to finish filmmaking, watching the process, and. Um, did and you I, end up on camera or no? I did, but like very quickly. Yeah. I think you see the like back Rudy's of my you know, hair like, walking right. through yeah. campus, and cool. I paused it and showed everybody. Yeah. That was my big my big debut, and it was freezing. It was like the dead of winter when they were shooting, and they yeah. had uh, like one of the vans, kind of you know, for all the actors to just warm up in. And I remember getting to sit next to Sean Astin, oh. and I was like, oh, "It's Rudy." <laughs> it was so cool. It's also Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, well, do you think he's more known now for Rudy still or Samwise? Depends who you ask. Yeah. No. I just asked you. Me? Rudy. Rudy. Hands down. But no 18-year-old knows that he was Rudy. Now, how about this? Uh, Speaking of of him, they are going to make Goonies 2 with the entire... Amazing. Cannot wait for that. I'm okay with it. Right? Are you excited about that, Greg Oliver? Well, yeah. Chunk was my lawyer. (laughs) What? Chunk. Yeah. Is, is a lawyer. No, he's not. He's an entertainment attorney. So the get, Truffle Shuffle. Yes, the Truffle Shuffle. This is even more weird. Jeff so, Cohen was my attorney on a film. Oh wow! And That's it was awesome. awesome to hang with him. <laughs> it cost a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> it cost a lot. It was like a hundred and seventy-five an hour or something. I like to keep it did, around a hundred an hour. <laughs> did you ask him to do the Truffle Shuffle? No, man. That would have been cool. Yeah, it would have been cool. You, you have a Goonies link? I do have a Goonies link. So I just shot a pilot for a TV show called Just Brett and Lily, and Robert Davi was in it with us. And he was in Goonies. Goonies. He was one of the Fratelli brothers. Yes, yeah. yes, he was a Yeah. 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 Ah, Joey Pant? The bad guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Joey Pantaleone is the other one. See how I oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The mom's dead, though. Oh, she got what? thrown from the train. Mom, uh, <laughs> train. They threw her right from that train. <laughs> <laughs> right from the Didn't make it right after that train fall. Right? <laughs> She was so, a weird looking woman. So she was a handsome woman. <laughs> she a was. handsome woman. She did was. he mention if he's if he's did he mention the project? Is he back? He, back? he didn't mention if he's back. I know that they did quite a few interviews with him when we were filming. Um, so I'm assuming he's back oh, if they I were asking so, him man. about That's it. Great. I don't know how he can because he honestly right now is touring around. He's got an incredible singing voice. He does Frank Sinatra. So oh, I can't imagine. He sings him. in the movie. He sings in the movie. Yeah. 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 To, uh, this is, I mean, to the to the Goonies and they all yell at him. Yeah. He's <laughs> unbelievable and really great actor too. Do you have a Gatto? Do you have a Goonies link? I feel like everyone at the table does. <laughs> I don't. You don't? I have one. I don't. I am good friends with uh, the guy who played Data, uh, who's also Glenn in The Walking Dead. His name is Ming Chen. He's on Comic Book Men. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Ah. Oh, he yeah. was also in Indiana Jones. I'm in pretty Temple. sure that's not right. No, that was him. He, uh, he was he. he you oh, ever I see know. Bruce Lee? <laughs> I, he was in the Bruce Lee movie. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. He was in Dragon. He played Bruce Lee. <laughs> Got it. Um, what else was he in? He was in a couple other movies. I don't. I'm not sure. I have a. Actually, I do have a connect. I know. Lisa Varga <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. oh, for Telly Brothers. Well, Six slow it down. Degrees. Slow it down, Derek. I don't think you know Lisa Varga yet, okay? It's been one podcast. That's, yeah, I'm not funny yet, not so yet. you, you don't know funny. me. All right. And it's, it's the Lisa Varga. Yeah. So the Lisa Varga. No, no, no. no, no the, it, does, it does cancel each other out. So he could call Lisa Varga and she could call Derek D. But if you address him, it has to be the Derek D because right. you're just right. at Mike Polano. Mm-hmm. That's, well, what's worse? Nothing. <laughs> you, Nothing. <laughs> I mean, I got an underscore. Don't even talk to me about it. You do have an underscore. I'm at Joe underscore Gatto. Who's if you have to say underscore in your name, you know you, somebody else got your name that you wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you ever? Wait, did you ever tweet or communicate with the other Joe Gatto? There's one guy named Joey Gatto TV. There's no <laughs> Joe Gatto. There is a Joe Gatto. Yes. Okay. There's probably fake accounts that people. But Joey Gatto TV. Oh, there are a million. Yeah. But there's a kid who actually is in in entertainment, and it's uh, he does like internet video stuff, and it's Joey Gatto TV. Ah. And people are like, oh, this is definitely Joe. It's not me. It's not. <laughs> he probably got a lot of followers, though. He does. But he's, and he's actually pretty funny. Yeah. But he's got, he's like this young blonde kid. And then there's this fat old they got, guy. Like what, a YouTube channel thing? <laughs> yeah. YouTube channel, fine guy, whole thing. He's funny. You should look at him. Look him up. At Joey Gatto TV. Look maybe, him we should throw, maybe we should have the PBR posse throw eggs at him. No, 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 don't. <laughs> don't do it. He won't know what that means and he'll get mad. Eggs are good. <laughs> okay, let's throw them All out. Right. <laughs> what's, what's his Twitter at? At Joey Gatto TV. Hashtag eggs. Wow, that's a nice plug for him. That yeah. He, just did. Is, he should be your new best friend. <laughs> no, nah, I don't like him much. I talk to him. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> He's a dick. I spoke to him. Varga, how about a little game? Varga. Okay. Now, Varga, you have a little something to do with this game. Uh, on the count of three, everybody, what's the name of this game? One, two, three. What's, what's, what's in, in the, the box? box? So Frankie, okay. our producer, uh, asked you to bring an item to put in the box. Yes. Hopefully, Frankie, our producer, also explained to you that you had to have some hints and rules. And stuff. Yes. Okay, so you ready to play? Yep. Hold All on. Right, so, I got to get my notes here. Hold on. Oh, we have it. We went digital. Are we got to write these down? No, no, no. she no. took a picture of the cue card yes. that she wrote, hand wrote. <laughs> so for those of you uh, out there in podcast land okay. that don't know how the game is played, the game's called What's in the Box? What? And one of us, Lisa Varga, the Lisa Varga, put an item in a box. We are going to ask questions, and she's going to give hints, and we're going to guess what's in the box. Whoever guesses correctly gets to keep what's in the box. Okay. Is everybody ready to play? Let's do it. All right, Lisa, give us, start us off with a nice hint. Okay, the hint is uh, I use one of these every morning and sometimes at night. Hmm. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you. I'll, I'll repeat it We're again. We're all mad here. Wait, can, I use one of these every morning and sometimes at night. Okay, I'm going to bring the music down real quick. <laughs> I want you to say that again in your best Lisa Varga voice. Lisa Varga voice? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this my hosting voice? Sure. Okay. I use one of these every morning and sometimes at night. <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy it. I don't know what it is, but I want to buy it. Uh, Greg, question for Lisa. Is your, when you don't use it at night, is your breath bad? No. It's not toothbrush, bud. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Because you use that all the time at night. Uh, does, does it, uh, does it smell good? It's like, you know, like a. Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah, I mean, it smells good. Yes. So wait, wait, wait. Now you're confusing everybody. She said yes. <laughs> okay. That's the goal, to confuse. Keep going. Is, <laughs> uh, is it consistent? Does it have the consistency of liquid? It can. Oh. Does it retail for under $20? Oh, good yes. question. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Clue. Hold on. Back to the phone. <laughs> no, they were so good. I had to write it down perfectly. <laughs> oh, okay. You could put something hot or cold in it, but mostly hot. Greg Oliver. I mean, before you before you ask Greg, could we have it again in the best lease of our <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. You can put something hot in it or cold in it, but mostly something hot. <laughs> Thank you. The pronunciation, <laughs> the T's, and the. Yeah. This is what I do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Me too. I don't talk like that. <laughs> I always talk like this. 
I'm, I'm to Veronica to... Corning. What, yeah, what, that, yeah. Whatever oh. you put on a teleprompter, I will read it. <laughs> yeah, qu uh, question. <laughs> question or a guess? Or no, 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 no. We no, guess at the end. We guess at the end. So just to recap, uh, sometimes it's liquid. Sometimes it's hot and, or, and or cold. She uses it at, mostly so, hot. Oh, mostly in the morning hot. and sometimes at night. Did I miss anything else? Uh, and it's not, it doesn't really make... It smells pretty. It's not a toothbrush. And it's not. We know it's, it's under $20. So are, so are toothbrushes. <laughs> well, it's not a toothbrush. Is it... Uh, Unless it's a Sonicare toothbrush. Color, can, Sonicare. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, could its color be blue? It can be. <laughs> blue. It can be blue. Are you honing in specifically already? I'm trying to hone in, man. It, it can be blue, which means... It can be many colors, but it can be blue. See? Does it require any sort of like power, like battery uh, or plug or? No. Get your mind out of the gutter, Derek. <laughs> the Derek. It's Ding. not a vibrator. I didn't think it was. <laughs> My question was, does it vibrate? I need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, did uh, do you which do you, do you prefer it hot or cold? I prefer it hot. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on a sec. I'm sorry. But Can not too hot. <laughs> Can you say that again? I prefer it hot. <laughs> Isolate that one. Wait till I edit this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you let a friend borrow it? Oh, Ooh, is it personal? Depends what friend. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. An ugly twin sister? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. I've already borrowed it, Mark. Even a beautiful twin sister. Oh. Or a handsome twin Bag sister. Your sex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many uh, hints do you have left? Uh, I Hold on. Three, I right? You need three Let me hints. see if I did. Well, sometimes they. How many hints have I given you? Two. Two. Um, you okay. Give... And we ask questions. So, most men and women use this item during a crucial morning ritual. Most men and women use this in the morning as a crucial <laughs> morning ritual. Okay. They use this item for that. Greg Oliver. Do you have more than one of them? Do I personally? Personally. Yes. Should have to think about it. Hmm. <clears throat> well, none like that, but yeah. what's in the box, but... Mostly hot, so, but or cold. Yeah, but the mostly hot is what's getting me now. <laughs> it's like uh, it can be liquid. I think ah, uh, go ahead, man. I, I think morning ritual. Morning ritual: you brush your teeth, you wash your face. For some people, it's crucial. They can't get through the morning. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I got a good question. Uh, go more with the gullet. The gullet? Yeah, I think I think I'm on. I think I'm. I think I'm honing in. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. But you said it could be blue. Yeah, that's why I think. Yeah, it could be blue. It could probably also be white. It could. It could be I yellow said it or could, brown. It could be blue. It could be any color, but it could be blue. And sometimes um, it's liquid, but it can all. Let me let me ask you this question. I'm gonna skip there. We'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> <What? You're> taking, <laughs> you can't do he's that. He's taking two okay. goddamn. No, no, no. Is it edible? Right. Yes. Uh, I'll answer for you. Yes. Edible, I don't know. It, there's that fine line. No, you should say, do you, does, do you eat it? Do, you can it, you consume it? You can consume it. Do people normally you, consume it? It's a question. Because you can eat anything. Okay. <laughs> what edible means is it? No, no, no. Because uh, a like bar that, of soap's edible. Would you, I, I wouldn't say edible. I would say you can consume it. Would you ask for it at a diner? Yes. Don't look at me like that. Ask your damn question. Oh! If you were if you were getting attacked by a shark, would it come in handy? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have one more? Oh man. I have one more, and this one is it going to give it away? It, it away. might give it away. All right, so. stop. I don't know. We should stop. Yes. All right. So everybody, write down on your card what you think it is. But let me just add one thing. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. okay. This item can come in all sorts of colors and designs. But the one in this box will unveil my real favorite hockey team. I, I, uh, what? And you got it. It's kind of a two-part answer. That you have to guess what it is, but you also have to guess what team it is. Oh, man. Well, the whole blue thing 
indicates the New York Rangers. The whole red thing indicates the Chicago Blackhawks. So but his question was, was it blue? And you said it could be, but it, so it can be red as well. Yes. God. So, all right. So let me, can I ask one more thing? Sure. You don't have to answer it because I'm breaking the rules. Okay. Um, is it, it, what's in that box is a certain color. So is it brand specific to what the item is? Yes. That you can ask for at the diner? Yes. Like the, they wouldn't have it at a diner though. That was your question. What she said yes. You could also you can ask for it, you but they're not going to have it. You can ask for anything at a diner. You can say, uh. can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex? And they can say no. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, no. You can ask for what goes in it. What? I, I, th I thought I had it. If and you're I lost at a it. diner, you can absolutely, in the morning, because some people have to have this, ask for this stop to go it. Stop into. Ta stop talking. This is it. Let's make All a right. guess. All right, ready? Greg, but you it has to be team specific. And it that, has to. You're losing me there. You Barbara. have to know. I will reveal. And this is the biggest question that you have for me. What was your favorite which team? Which NHL team do I love? I know which one you love. The Rangers or the Blackhawks? Which one is my team? I'm ready to guess. I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. I, I think I'm completely... I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing? Why do I always come up? I come up with nothing. Always. I thought I had it, but now you, she's totally I'm, throwing me in circles, I just, and I don't know what it is. I'm giving you... You know what? When you find the answer, you're going to be like, those were great clues. That's usually the case. I it's usually a lot. the case. If you're listening to this at home on the podcast, uh, let us know, tweet us what you think it is and what point you figured it out. Just for sh shits and giggles. Yeah. Yeah, but right. Tweet me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish. Is this it's not, live? It's not no, live. It's not live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess on the count of three, turn your cards over. I got nothing uh, on my card, though. <laughs> one, two, three. I said equal. I said New York Rangers thermos. I said Easter egg coffee mugs. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say mug. Because you're, you're, you're talking about coffee, right? You can have iced coffee, you can have hot coffee. I thought you were talking about oatmeal at one point. So, okay, now what do I do? Now you open a box. You because open a nobody's box. exactly right. But, but we're all some, kind of right? Uh, these three. You're, it's, it's not a packet of sugar, a blue no, packet of sugar. No, I said Easter egg no, coffee equal, mugs. It's branded. Uh, I said branded. If you and you put your answers it's Chicago, together. It's a, it's, it's a New York Rangers food. coffee mug. Yes. Hey! Uh, who do I love? That's New York awesome. Rangers. Who do I love? Everybody who doubted me and thought just because I went to the Stanley Cup final <laughs> and drank this out year of the cup. and maybe drank out of the cup. And this one over here thinks that I'm a traitor mm -hmm. and that I love the Blackhawks now. I love them, but this is my team. That's awesome. There and I go. can't believe, like... I, can't, I knew it was revolving around mug? coffee. Me. Well, Gatto. And then it's gonna... <laughs> First, I thought it was an egg because I was like colors. I thought equal. And then I thought it was oatmeal, <laughs> like a packet of oatmeal. No. Well, you guys clearly just don't get my sis. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's just, why. Because we're just we're in connected. Tune. So, sorry, fellas. What you say? What did you say? Yours was? <laughs> I said the New York Rangers thermos. The fact that he got New York Rangers was huge. So I was though. thinking like the thermos mug, those like hollow. Mine mugs. does so say coffee mug. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you say Easter eggs, Easter so you can so really that's like you can go off yeah, yeah, you're right. If we're gonna do it, <laughs> well done. At least I got blue. You, you didn't get blue. You, that was blue. A, when you asked that. I thought, oh man. And Whoever was my, there's no doubt who was the furthest. It was this guy. My first no, question was, equal. can, can it be consistency of liquid? And you said yes. Yeah, how, how is equal going to reveal her favorite team? I thought it was blue. Uh, like maybe the packet was you blue. Clearly, you're crazy. I was on sugar. I thought, but I could use this to I could use this to defend myself against a shark. So you were wrong on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now right. you say, and you now divulge in this game what's yes. in the box that New York Rangers are your favorite hockey team. Yes. That's kind of where we met through the New York Rangers. That is. You also cursed them on Twitter. True or false? When did Why I would curse you curse? Them? We can go back to our Twitter Why does feeds. anyone curse the Rangers? The whole entire state of New York was cursing the Rangers. Not cursing like MFing. You put the Varga oh, curse, that curse on the New York Rangers. You might want to talk to Adam about that. <sighs> Inside people dropping names. <laughs> uh, no, I I'm outside the windows. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the power that I had. And you I had think some you power. It was pretty impressive. Yeah. I forget what the curse was, but Varga um, put a. We, we were like tweeting back and forth because <laughs> the Rangers and the Chicago Blackhawks were going back and forth uh, in their respective side of the NHL. And uh, she cursed the Rangers for some I'll reason. Tell you why. And they, every because time she did it, they lost. Because twice. Oh, it's the jersey. You'd post a picture of you in the cane jersey who was being accused of inappropriate things, I might add. I did not have who, sexual Jared relations from Subway? with him. <laughs> I swear on my life. <laughs> yeah, <like that's> right. <laughs> yes. And I've never even met him. Um, so back to why I cursed them. 
it was because I was supposed to be on. Oh, your, because of Adam Scholar. That, that's what I said. You might want to talk to Adam about that. So he had. Joe, did you talk to Adam up. about that? I feel like I am watching a tennis match because <laughs> yeah. I have no clue what's going <laughs> yeah. on. No, right you know now. Adam Scholar. You've met him. You were on an episode of Blue Shirt Buds. Lisa was supposed to be on an episode of the Blue Shirt Buds, and Adam said no. Mm-hmm. Well, now that solves the mystery, <laughs> folks. Hey, Adam. Right, Scoop? I just have one thing to say to you. Oh! Now it's getting real up in here. At, real. at Adam Scholar. It's gang star it's up in here. If you're listening, wow, you have no idea star. what happened. If you're watching. My I love sis it. is totally gang starring him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. And then the second time it happened, I was actually, do you remember? It wasn't too long ago where uh, the Rangers were in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I was in town, and I was supposed to be on this podcast. Right. And I got bumped because the Rangers oh. were actually winning for once. Mm. And um, <laughs> Yeah, was not here. <laughs> I was here, and I no, was at I that wasn't game. Here. Yeah, yeah, lucky. Yeah, ah, lucky. Awesome. So, so. What, now tell tell the story because I know you don't want to, and I'm going to ask you on air and embarrass you. Oh, but you don't have to be specific. Okay. So when you win the NHL Stanley Cup, you get to party with the NHL Stanley Cup. Yes, yep. you do. And so, did you or did you not get to party with the cup? I don't care who was. With I the cup, cannot confirm nor deny. nor deny if I drank out of. Let me Stanley let me ask cup. you this question. Have you ever hung out with that guy that carries around the cup? Have you ever been in the same room as him? You know oh, the, the guy, guy the guy uh, the guy's in aside, charge. Of yeah. Aside from the night, you know, that is there like there? one guy that's in charge of that? There's one there's two his, guys. And ironically his name is Stanley. <laughs> yeah. Yes, For real? No, yeah, the other guy's no, name is cup. dope. It's not <laughs> he Stanley. To be Holy there. cow, look at the lights. Look at the lights. <laughs> <laughs> You thought his name was Stanley? <laughs> oh, no. <my. laughs> I thought that you said I ironically. The keeper of the cup, you I thought his him. name was Stanley? No. You I, thought Stanley Cup was caught in a crowd by a guy named Stanley? You just said it. Oh, it's my Stanley's God. I'm getting cup. dumber looking at you. No, you just said it. I thought maybe that was like an ironic thing. That would be cute, though, if his name was Stanley and he was guarding the was so was very I sincere. love you. You're so cuddly. He was very sincere the way he said it. You, you, yeah, because you just randomly was, I was like, oh, take the mic it. stand off your stomach. <laughs> you, the way wish, you said it, you're like, oh, yeah, the guy named Stanley. I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up. I wish At this point, I don't it. think you could move without help. Uh, it's stuck in there now. By the way, Varga's answer clearly means yes, she drank out of the cup. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Read between them lines. Yeah, there. there's no doubt. I, now, who whose party was it? I, I she can't confirm cannot or confirm nor deny Mark that. No. <laughs> Mark Messier. The Blackhawks won this year, you know. He doesn't. He know. just threw a party for the Rangers one time when you were there. Like, oh. I was a uh, big <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks fan in uh, 1992 on my PlayStation. I used to play NHL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was my team, the Chicago Blackhawks. That's when you can make the. Uh, People's heads bleed. That's right. I think yeah, even <laughs> Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. You're right. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. Well, and here's the thing with the Blackhawks. I grew up in the Midwest, mm-hmm. so you, I thought, you know, I love the Blackhawks because of no that. But the Rangers were into always it. my team. <laughs> no need. Oh, yeah, why do they do we to, even why need to get into black? that? Seriously, they're just hawks. They're hawks. Okay, they're just hawks. They're, just okay? hawks. <laughs> just hawks. <laughs> they're hawks, just as good as a white hawk That's and it. or a black hawk. <laughs> Blackhawks <laughs> lives matter. That's. Wow, edit that out for his sake. That will never make it in. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, it's funny in a room full of white people. <laughs> I mean, two Sicilians, you kind of can no, say. No, 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 no. You got those time codes because I can't be associated with that, with that quote. Oh. All right, Varga, I, I'm just going to throw it out there, but I think... Uh, too soon. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> um... Did you have an AOL Instant Messenger screen, screen name? Did I? Like an AIM screen name. Don't say it if you did. I think so a long time ago. I do remember When it, it. sounded like that and you had to sign yeah. on to yeah. it. Yeah. Do you remember what it was? Don't say it. I Hold on. Let me think about it. I know I Cause, did. Because we're going to, we play a little game. We like to guess what our guest's screen name would have been. I have to think what it was. You don't remember? It's not fun for anybody. <laughs> Gatto, do you remember yours? You don't have to yeah. remember like if there was a number to it, just if you could remember the name of it. No, I I do remember. And actually I know what it is. Oh, you know what it is? I do. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna guess it real quick before we get into the armchair <laughs> futurist. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Greg, I, I just want to point out that twice, which is impossible, Derek D has pretty much nailed it. No, no last well, episode he nailed last it. Last episode I, I actually <laughs> nailed I couldn't believe nailed it. it. Really? <laughs> the, yeah. Blair Saki. I got it exactly. It was it was uh it was Care Blair. Care Blair. Care Blair 23. I said Care Blair 87, but Wow. Nailed it. All right. Call me a hammer. Well, <laughs> if you guess this, then I think you're cheating somehow. Uncle Umar, you want to Uber? What, what's Uncle what? 
Umla? Umla. Do you want to go? <laughs> no. You just want to stay out? I, I got to pass on this one because I suck at it. You do suck at you it. You guessed like this blue, one and that yes. was really good. That was just, yeah, I guess blue. But That's like, blue. I, I don't have like the, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to say like the Lisa Varga. Hmm. No. Nah, see, it's like, <laughs> 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 see, I, okay. I should have passed. I should have passed. Are we allowed to, we're not allowed to ask uh, any questions, right? No. Yeah. It's not that kind of game. Um, I don't know. Indie Varga, indie, indie, indie act, <laughs> indie actress, eighty, <sighs> indie, indie actress, eighty. I'm gonna say it's got something to do with sports, right? So, like, it's probably something about Notre Dame. So it's gonna be like ND fan seven because I feel like their quarterback at the time was probably like number seven or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even close. Am I supposed to say Not yet. No? Gatto's okay. still got to go. No, I think I think it's more of a play on her name. <gasps> we are so connected. What well, was it? Vargage Bag 1427. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. No. All right. Well, that's Vargage Bag. So that's a whole close, episode though. of bargaining around right there. <laughs> 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 what was it? It was Varga 48. Oh. So oh. you have the Varga. I said right. Indy Varga. You did? Do you know what the 48 stands for? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you you would know this because we were both born on that day. Oh, well, there you go. April it's your birthday, 8th April 8th. My, eight, it's eight. our birthday. Our birthday, April 8th. That's right. It's a good day. Varga 48. Speaking of birthdays, uh, <clears throat> happy birthday, Derek. Thanks, man. Today? No. Today is your birthday. Two days. <laughs> In two days. Oh, happy August birthday. August 22nd. You know when you hear this, though, it's probably after that. Guys, please do us a favor and send all gifts <laughs> for Derek. Uh, what's what's the address? Could they send it to? To Fastlane Daily Studios. They get sent to the studio, can't yeah. they? Yeah, if they care, want. care of Fastlane uh, Daily Studios. The address here is 330 uh, West 38th Street, New York, New York. What's the zip? 11018. One, 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 They're in suite 1401. <laughs> and just send all the gifts, please, for Derek's birthday. And please, guys, send gifts because Derek, you know, he does a lot of entertainment for you. The least you could do, go get a card. Maybe like, a, he loves Starbucks. You like Starbucks? I don't drink coffee. He doesn't drink coffee, so don't get him a Starbucks card or a Dunkin' Donuts card. He's huge into, like, he likes movie t- movies. He likes to go see movies. <laughs> a- AMC gift cards are great. He's also a size medium t shirt. Medium? I have a medium. Medium t shirt. So get him, you know, get him a nice shirt. Show some love. He'll love you back. <laughs> well played. I hope you get lots of gifts. Thanks. Wow. I know at least seven listeners to this that will send you gifts because they've sent <laughs> me gifts for my birthday, oh, and they're man. awesome. <laughs> hey, all- at least send a card. The least you could do, you fucks, is to draw a picture on a card, you inappreciative bastard. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, sure. I mean, he's over here sweating. He's hoofing it for your entertainment. <laughs> it's the man's birthday. I mean, come on. How old are you going to be? Like, ish. Give me an ish. ish. No, I'll be 34. Ish? Ish. <laughs> I might be 29. You're going to be 34? You 34 look so or 29. Than I did at 34. Oh my God, I look like I ate you. <laughs> <laughs> 29 or 34. Uh, Do you not want to say how old you are? 25 or 6, 2, because we four. Can, we By the way, guess. I saw Chicago. <laughs> saw Chicago and Earth, Wind, and Fire the other night. Did you? Nice. Oh, great oh show. Uh, He also loves live music. So if you <laughs> get tickets to anything, live playing music. at the Barclays, you know, uh, Stevie Wonder's coming to the Barclays October 18th. He would love to go see that. I'd love to see it. Did you see uh, Stevie Wonder's last video? Neither did he. <laughs> Neither did he. I mean, buddy, if you're going to softball him up, I mean, I'm just going to have to spike him down for you. Uh, <laughs> so, Varga, yeah. the year is 2050. Okay. Armchair futurist. You're sitting back in the, your armchair in South Bend, Indiana, <laughs> and you're looking at your industry, mm-hmm. acting, modeling, entertainment. Okay. What does it look like in 2050? Oh, boy. I think um, lots of dead space on air is never good. No, <laughs> it up. Let me think about this. We edit. Don't worry. Mike's good at all this. He edits it all. I think it'll be uh, very different in the sense of everything's going to be more independent. Everything's probably going to be shorter, quicker. Um, everything's going to be digital. Mm-hmm. Uh, very. Almost I don't. Is. You know. Hopefully, we'll have movie theaters still. Um, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, we will have definitely TV series, and there is one that will still be running. <laughs> we will hit it's, in 2050. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1,725. And it's called. Episode. Just, Just bargain around. around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the look theme song to is that. really whatever. The theme song's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, knows. right. Yeah. Maybe Menergizer mixed results with a Z can sing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sing the hook. It'll be a mixed results yeah. uh, reunion. <laughs> Derek was in a boy band called Mixed Results with a Z. Were you really? Mixed yeah. results. Yeah. Wow. Mixed results. 
<laughs> we were good dancers, boy. I, I tell bet. You. Tell you what, one man contests and talent shows. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. I mean, there's a there's a lot of space for. I, I know we're joking about bargaining around, but there's a lot of space on on alternative. If I call platforms. it alternative platforms, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. Like for oh. shows like that. You oh know? yeah. So you think uh, you could find an audience anywhere with good content? <laughs> I hate mm-hmm. saying this around Gatto because it always comes up, but like, do you think cable's dead in the, in 2050? I didn't want to say that just because of our show. <laughs> However, um, no, but your show could live on Yahoo. Yeah, it could. I think it's going to get you to think the point. Yahoo's where, going to be around 2050. Well, something like it, right? An iteration of. I think it's going to get to the point where I mean, it already kind of is now. Where literally you're just like, I want channel three. I want channel this channel, that channel, that channel. like. Right and right now, you could pick like HBO. A la this, carte. Yeah, yeah, just like a la carte, a channel. I mean, I'm I'm on that now, man. I'm Apple, I have Apple TV, and I got rid of cable, and uh, that's basically what it is. You made that's the jump. Cable. I made the jump, Football, man. Though, basic man. cable. I, uh, I, you know what? I can't watch Impractical Jokers. I'm sorry, man, but I don't live at home. <laughs> I'm not shaving till I go home. You don't you don't have to watch Impractical Jokers because you work on Impractical that's Jokers true. and you see it live. So. I do. Oliver, before before we head out of here, can you just uh, give me an umlaut? Ooblot. There you go. Uh, Varga, thank you so much thank for you. coming thank out. You. Thank awesome. you. I had so much fun. What are we plugging? <laughs> oh, that's what I was about to ask, ask her. Ask her. Anything you'd like to plug, Ms. Varga? I have a lot to plug. Um, we only got a minute to do it. Okay, so, so the uh, there's a pilot for a TV series called Just Brett and Lily. There's a movie that we just did called Crowning Jewels. Uh, I have I didn't even get to talk about this. Um, Beyond the Off Season. It's right. a sports show that I host and created. Um, we can find all of this on your website? Yeah, lisavarga.com. Not the Lisa Varga, just lisavarga.com. And I'm all over Twitter with updates, so the Lisa Varga on Twitter. Right. Right on. Anybody else have anything to plug? September 3rd. Yeah. The live punishment where it all goes down. True TV, 1030. 10 o'clock, we start the episode, 1030. It goes live for the punishment where I walk a tightrope. Do not miss it. <laughs> Derek? It's my 29th birthday on what, Saturday. What? Send, him Saturday. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. Uncle Umlaut. Uncle Umlaut. Don't let him kill off Uncle Umlaut. Right <laughs> PBRpodcast.com. Yeah. You can find us on the web. Yeah. See you. Thank you guys so much. That was a great episode. Yep. <laughs> love you. We'll love you back. Love you. Bye. I love you. It's great. <laughs>